Okay, let's look at the example. So the question is on page 78, number 4. A 20 kg uh, toboggan is pulled along at a constant velocity. It should be velocity. It's it's a speed on the uh, or you know question uh, by a horizontal force of 30 newton. So question asking for a what is the force of gravity on the toboggan? Uh, first of all, let's uh, draw a free body diagram. Say if this is a toboggan, so uh, there's a four uh, to m. This m equals twenty kg. So first of all, there must be a force of gravity acting on the toboggan by the Earth, and then there must be a normal force F n. And then uh, it's it's being pulled by a horizontal force, so this force it's applied force equal thirty newton. And then at a it's moving at a constant uh, uh, velocity, so of course there must be a force of friction. Okay, uh, we need to analyze the, the acceleration of this. Uh, toboggan. It's moving at a constant velocity, that means the acceleration equals zero. So they can see the F net, the net force acting on the toboggan also being zero. So you can get the conclusion because it's moving at a horizontal direction. So first of all, these two vertical force, they have to be equal. Okay, And then we can get the conclusion that Fn equals uh, the FG, right? And, oh, sorry, FG. And then they're both equals uh, MG, right? And then M is 20.0 and G is 9.8. So uh, you can do the calculation. So it should be 196 Newton. Now we can take the G as 9.80, then we have three second digits, 196 Newton. Okay, so that's uh, A, we're done here. And for B, what is the coefficient of friction? So B, Question asking for the coefficient is the mu k. Now the basic formula we put it here first about the friction is ff equals the mu k times fn. Mu k is the uh, uh, coefficient of uh, kinetic friction or sliding friction. Fn is a normal force uh, acting between the two objects in contact. So here is Fn here. Uh, and then from this basic formula, we of course we know the mu k equals Ff divided by Fn. And then we already know the Fn uh, is same as the uh, force of gravity equals that much. So how much is Ff? Now look at it here because F net equals zero and these two horizontal forces, they are in opposite direction. They have to be equal as well. So the FF is actually equals FA, and this is equals FG, right? Now that's not a formula. I'm not saying the friction, a force of friction always equals the FA, uh, just in the case, uh, in this case. Okay, and there are a lot of similar case, cases. Okay, so the FA should be uh, 30.0 Newton, and then FG is 196 Newton, and then if you do the division, so you can find it's 0 0.153, that's it, there's no unit for it. Okay, C, 
Okay, now the question asking about a C is what if there are two girls, they both uh, have in mass 60 kg sitting on the toboggan? Okay, so now the situation uh, changes. Uh, if I draw a free body diagram, so it's gonna be like this. So there's a two go, right? Sitting on it, uh, sitting on it. So the question is gonna be asking for uh, what is the FA? I put a prime right now. So and of course we still have friction prime. We have the FN prime and FG prime. Now everything is different here because the the two people sitting on it, so that changes the total uh, gravitational force. Now the same idea is this two forces gonna be equal. So the Fn prime should equal Fg prime. Now the Fg right now is uh, 20 kg. That's the mass of the toboggan. And plus 60 0 kg. Um, and plus 60 0 kg because the two girls uh, just skip the unit. And then times 9.8. Okay, so that's gonna be the new normal force and force of gravity, they're both the same. And then the friction, uh, the FA, which is a question asking for, should equal the friction force, right? And then to find out the friction force, we just apply the original formula right here. Okay, this is the original formula. So it should be mu k times the Fn, which is uh, Fn prime in this case. Uh, then we just plug in everything. So the mu k, we just use the mu k we found earlier, 0 0.153. And then times the Fn. Fn is right here. We didn't calculate. So, but we can put them together so this is 120 plus 20, 140, 140.0 kg times 9.8 meter per second squared. So we'll put a zero here to make the three significant digits. Okay, now if you do the calculation, you can see your answer should be uh, having three significant digits. Uh, then just do the calculation. So you should get 210 newtons. So the point here indicating it has three significant digits. Okay, done.